Hello friends and bees and friends who are also bees and welcome to this week's Destiny 2 stream. This week as the title says we're going to be doing um, uh, this week's story content and hopefully um, if we have time and I don't spend ages doing that um, working on Agus Scepter which I believe is this uh, season's exotic. Um, anyway the plan is, is to work on on that exotic, whatever it may be. So, let's go ahead and swap to the gameplay. And... You can't see it properly, but there are little ghosties. My fairy lights are little ghosties. I'll go ahead and log in. Double Nightfall Rewards. Nightfall Grandmaster Satu. Okay. Go to hell and also be that. What's this week's stuff? Shotgun, focus tier 3 engrams, stasis abilities, astral alignment in under 10 minutes, crucible in the glory rank, fusion rifles and swords in gambit, or any knife strike on Grandmaster. I really need to work on these challenges, I've been really bad at doing it. Um, my, um, like, at the moment, I mean, term, term just started, which cuts down my gaming time, but also my, like, thing that I'm grinding for at the moment is, um, crafting materials in Neo Replicant. I'm nearly done. I've only actually got, I believe I've only got one left to go. I'm going to double check that. Yes, I've only got one left to go, which is nice. Unfortunately, it's one of the kill ones, which means it'll probably take ages to file, but there we go. Um, but because of that, I like I log in, I do Beast Tribes in Final Fantasy XIV, and I'm leveling um, Warrior on my ult that way. And then, if I want to play game, a game, usually I'm playing right up again. But given that I'm nearly done farming, maybe that'll change. Who knows? I feel like whenever I play Destiny, I'm always like, I remember I enjoy this so much. And then during the week, I'm just like, mm. um, so It's not how camera is it that I use. It is. That's a nice stuff with a side on. Oh, okay. Weapons. SMG. Well, I might do some of those. They should put her in charge of the assault. Oops. I should click on the helm. Why we're having such trouble loading today, but there we are. No. I'm not using the controller. I guess if I'd started playing this game with the controller, I'd probably find it easier. But given that I didn't, Given that I've always played at KBM, I find using a controller really difficult. Whereas with other games like um, Nier, Automata and Replicant, the controller's um, very intuitive and really even with Jet, I just need to get used to how the Jet handles. Um, but it's still fairly intuitive. No, I don't know if intuitive is the right word, but it makes sense. But then like, I swap to Destiny and I'm just like, I don't know what any of these buttons do. Also going to close a couple of close Discord as well. See if that's causing a problem. 
I'm not sure if the loading is my internet or if it's um if it's the game. So apparently when I first saw Pro, I looked into his mind. I did not see my brother's memories. Savathun dredged them from a place beyond my grasp when she revealed his past life to him. She suspects I do not mean to let her live once the separation ritual is complete and is testing our patience. Perhaps she means only to hurt me. The risk of her cunning is too great, no matter her intentions. Until the conditions are right for us to exorcise her worm, I am restricting all access to Sabathun. I will, however, afford you one last meeting to conclude your investigations before I seal her away. Steal your mind when you face her, Guardian. The Witch Queen is no less dangerous now than she has ever been. We have one last Techium to locate. Go forth. When I first saw Crib, I looked into his mind. I did not see my brother's memories, Marisov says, frustration barely audible in her voice. While she doesn't know how Sabathine managed this, she fears what other manipulations the Witch Queen could attempt. Mara says she will afford you one last audience for Sabathine to ask any lingering questions you might have, but imports upon you not to fall to the Witch Queen's dece deceptions. She says that we are close now. Only one more tech in is required to exercise Sabathine's one. I don't know why I'm finding it so difficult to, like, read out loud. I don't know what's going on. Chest my environment. Look at the pictures of our chests. What sort of a bat? Lots now. I went to um, get some uh, mountains. Compass. It looks it's very pretty. So anyway, apparently here somewhere is the radio that when I try and interact with it, it puts me in the Wayfinder's compass. A friend of mine was saying that some other people that she knows were having the same problem, so it isn't just me, but it is nonetheless incredibly annoying. Okay. For an astral alignment. Overload and unstoppable. No, actually, I'm going to overload sword and unstoppable sidearm. Cool, cool, and also cool. Why can't I interact with this radio? Because Bungo hates me. Anyway. Let's get out of here. I need it like seven weeks into the season. Probably be like, um, okay, time for me to grind everything out, but there's like 137 days. By 30, that's like six long months until the Witch Queen, which means there's loads of time to work on the challenges, which means this might actually be the first time that I get all of the challenges. I've heard that with the Witch Queen, they are getting rid of Forsaken as well as the mm -hmm. Year 4 stuff. Um, including the presage mission, so I'm gonna have to do Bird of Prey 
and um, at your fingertips. Um, and also, like, get the um, secrets inside the massage and stuff. I'll probably just, I imagine, probably, I might just sort of start picking a category of achievements and just working on that. Specifically story-based achievements, not like, um, crucial achievements or something like, no, I'm actually going to work on, like, the getting the stuff from the Prasad missions and, uh, and stuff like that. Gosh, I love how obnoxiously holographic, that's not quite the right word, my ship is. You can go for like colourful, or you can go for cool, or you can go for fast, or you can go for obnoxious, like me. Okay, I'm really not sure if the reason this is taking so long to load is a me problem or not. Discord super quickly. I doubt Zebra Roth knows what Mara is planning. Every day it grows nearer. She'll redouble her efforts, I'm sure. And with Krogon, we're more vulnerable than before. Hello. I'm instantly having fun. This is my favorite thing. energy regulation system. If we lose the regulators, there's no telling how the blind well will react, or how Zidu or Roth will take advantage. Eliminating enemies is secondary to protecting our battery carriers. Batteries. Like, mm-mm, bitch.
pizza, such as a good night. Let's um, not stand in fire. That is notably bad for one's health. Let's not get stuck on rocks like that. That is also notably bad for one's health. fell straight off there. Presence here can't be all about the ether. There must be a larger strategy at play. Strategy is not the scorn's greatest asset. Their uncommon focus belies a greater will than we've seen before. I finally learned how to do this one. I'm very proud of myself when it took ages. Ether gives life. Let its destruction bring death to the scorn. Maybe I can't um, grenade it either. Make like a lot easier.
really do love to see it. Well played, Guardian. I'm sure Crow wishes he could share in this victory. If that were true, he'd be here right now. Petra, I love you, but stop it. My Corsairs report increased taken activity. Retrieve the compass and assume defensive positions. Compass. This is like that. I think he's just the take machine on that. Not any of the other many things that he could be. There goes my body. So I need to eat the spear. Died, but I think I got the shield now. Nice, there we go. You did well, Guardian. But I admit that Crow's expertise is missed. He's yeah, still he a great is. shot. I heard that. Oh, you little pest. Stay off my channel and keep your shell flaps sealed. Too late. Hey, buddy, guess what? A certain very angry night lady says you're <laughs> an amazing marksman. Best she's ever seen. He says he doesn't care. But I can tell he does. Thanks, Petra. I love Glint so much. Oh my gosh. So good. is good boy. I'm going to eat that scab right there. Well, three deaths is bad, but it's not terrible, I suppose. And it's not ideal. What should I do? Um, how that trajectory is. Um, let's see. 
and it gives a little training system, so. I don't know where they are in the training city. Actually, we'll go to the EDZ. I know where they say, I know where they are and then. Oh, I definitely don't. seem to be where they hang out primarily. See any? Oh, there we go. Maybe the left and trees or something. Stupid ADC jump puzzles. as I can see, so... Quadruple objective progression earned within a season pass. Exotic quest. Just conveniently, what I'm doing next. I'm going to pick up the rest of the ones that are here. Oh, it's Forest of Echoes, which have loads of things to find in. I don't know if I'm. I don't know yet if I'm determined to find another one stream. But...
not in the center and I you just have to see. Seems like they were indeed just happy to see me. So let's get out of here. Plain old blue fours, mm, not for me. Penguin. Oops. Those are nice. I just don't, they certainly don't suit my aesthetic at the moment. Me saying please behave as if the problem isn't me. Really did say no, you fucking don't. So that's the main thing. Okay, I'm saving up for that one, unless it gives me a specific one that I have to do. Great. No way, I'm a fool and an idiot. Side on. Just 
gonna double check hands for what side I've got. Um landing consecutive hits with any sword stuns an enemy. Cool. Let's go. And Forest of Echoes. Forest of Echoes, I've done a handful. But I've got many more to look into. So. I'm going to hit these. Okay, no. cool. Well, I've done the um, more difficult. Your ones, trespass so. beyond the veil brings you closer to victory, both mine and yours. Mm. A beacon ignites, sending a signal into the sky. Oh, I almost made that jump. It's fine. I'm actually gonna just go the way that I'm supposed no. supposed to first. Um and everything else can follow later. the beacon, head back here, poke it stuff. The telemetry you're sending from the compass looks good. There should be a beacon nearby. It is.
Mitch is going to align it. Mitch is also going to help for some, um, hope for. The beacon is aligned. Get ready for an attack. to die here, but that's okay. Yep, I was on fire. It was but to be expected. It's right there, because... Let's gather for a ritual at the shrine. Where would I be? Over here, obviously.
some funky, fresh, enigmatic mystery. Also, I think trio mysteries. Off to the east side of the church, clear side, the ruins, jump. I don't actually know which side the east side of the church is, but there we go. certain that I've done all the church stuff already, but I'm just going to check my checks. Some of the ruins is talking about. This is just like what you think. Yeah, it leads me that way, so that's whatever. Memory of um, 
been here before and getting really frustrated because I was so lost. So. I don't have to get it now, it's mostly that I would really quite like to actually. of the ascendant plane I've seen like the tendrils of some great fungus and ever spreading so right. I read these instructions inside the church short part has to be visible leading you up cliffside
very lost and very confused. Sight falls off and I land on the ground. Fucking gone. So let's have that map looks like advantage is in the sunken cave. Thank you. 
I've no doubt in my mind that this is incredibly boring, but um, oh fucking well, that's what I have to say. just yet. I'm looking this one, which is very nice. just struck me, I've been doing all this hunting, I haven't been um, looking for telemetry about an attempted breach of the ascendant plane from somewhere else. The paracausal can influence this place with thought, tie two ends of our world together with their willpower. Something ruptured this space with the power of its desire alone. Oh my. I was going to say, I promise I'll stop looking soon. Um, I'm like, hmm, will I go?
interesting trade. Absolutely certain that they had um, picked this one up already, and yet here we are. We'll see. Cash. Take a moment to reorient yourself, Guardian. This cash is placed on a set navigation point, a landmark in the plane. Moving through these realms can be misleading. You desire something so badly that it changes. You hear it calling to you, but it is only a rippling mirage. Your desires twisting the energies of the plane. You can trust in those visions only as much as you can trust in yourself. Which, as we previously noted, is um, not much. Look this one up. God, right. I think I may be an idiot. Don't know why I'm putting I think there when it's a proven fact, but there we go. Um
absolutely 100% convinced I got that one ready because I did this in the, um, something else, but there we go. Okay, right. Crypt, which is conveniently where I am now. Shrine, shrine, sunken cave, lots of sunken caves. Deep defenses and enshrined. Sunken cave. Shrine, shrine, okay, sunken cave, shrine, shrine. Cool, 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 cool. Um, Make your way to the ruins. Instead of swing left, right. So confused, annoyed, all of the other. Part of me is like, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. It's not exactly the most interesting. And then a larger part of me is like, okay, but do I care? time I get lost about where that is. Okay, 
please stop shooting me. I'm very annoyed. I do apologise that I keep going back in the woods. Um, that seems to have sort of just been what it's like here. I absolutely thought I'd got the, there's one in a, a cave, which I absolutely thought, yeah, 100p, I've got that. Something to the left. Oh, it's because I don't have barrier breach up yet. to the other side of the church. God, I wish getting around here was easier. Which will take me to the shrine up there. has an ore and a box for me. these wizards stand still and let me shoot you. returned to the mausoleum beneath the cathedral. This mausoleum is a memorial to Atechium, Malori, the first wayfinder to traverse this ley line. This cache marks a memorial. Long ago, Atechium fell here. Not one you're searching for. She was much older. One of those who first forded the lines. A cartographer who gave her life to the void. She ventured Shit. into the unknown, and we knew the safe path only by how long her light lasted before it gave out. I may tell you her name someday. She was a friend. That's and now she is part of the stream. I will not say. allow Zebu of Wrath to defile her sacrifice. Let's... I 
don't know where the sunken cave is. So we're going to do something truly crazy and um, actually get on and get the uh, the next beacon. Absolutely wild, I know. Just like upgrade them. So what does this tree say? Ever do a thing and then you're like, hey, that was stupid of me.
Whatever. I'll hit that later. I remember there being something there, I just can't remember what it is, which is extremely annoying, but I'll remember when we finish with this beacon. Deliver. Absolutely, like stuck in there as well for a while. Now. And then also like um, specifically. Uh, Maybe slower. Oops, but it's definitely more fun for me to do this. sites everywhere. It's like 10,000 true sites when all you need is um, all you need 
just like buy a bridge. Let's make his right advantage. Deep defenses. It's just advantage and deep defenses. Cool. but it's not one that I haven't solved yet. So, sounds sorted. Next. Oh, I see. It's, um... Just uh, go in for a wonder.
because it's such a hassle to see anything around here. Okay. There's a taken ball. jump without dying now. See where I need to be. Let's press. Ugh. I think so much hope this is where I need to be. Next, 
Don't worry about it. It's fine. There we go. Forest of Echoes done. I'm so glad that I'm done so I can finally actually go on with the story. Like I probably should have been doing for a while now, but that's where I'm shift today. I'm gonna walk in here.
for the joining allies, that was very helpful. Looking at these charts of the ley lines, I'm seeing considerable overlap with once secret awoken outposts. Yes, our trade secrets revealed. The ley lines were a means by which we expanded our empire without notice of our enemies. Though we have lost so much in such a small amount of time, Oryx's arrival those few years ago undid a great deal of work. Could these routes be repurposed? Move other forces or ships? Like how the Hive navigate their tomb ships. I very much appreciate the way you think. Speak with me in private. Okay. Love Cora. I have mixed feelings about Mara. We're great. Every of dreams I need to look about here. I'm dying, never gonna happen. I should try champions. Return to the helm. Good amount of her stretch, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Speak with Petrovenge at the holographic projector. Preparations for Sabathun's exorcism are underway, but the ritual can't begin without a cosmic alignment. It will take time. I want to express my gratitude for saving our new coven of Techians. They are young, with many years left to train. You've preserved their potential. Thank you. I tried to do the same for Crow, even if it pains my queen to see him leave. It's hard to imagine there's a safer place for him than at her side, but... 
This is for the best. You saw what Savathun did to him. She could do more. Prince Aldrin and I were friends once, you know. In our own strange way. I still think about him all the time. The sound of that gunshot. He's free now. To find his way between the stars. If only we could all be so lucky. Yeah, but I'd prefer if he was like hanging out with me, you know? Preparations for the exorcism ritual are underway. The Techians guide ley lines into position to oust Savathun's well. It is a process that will take a considerable amount of will and time. Petra Venge thanks you for rescuing her Queen's Techians. You preserved their potential, she says, with a holographic smile. She hopes the same has been done for Chrome, restricting his access to Savathun. She remembers all too well what the Witch Queen did to him. tabs on you your victories against my sister the mess you've made of the ascendant plane while you rescued your third string witches delightful to see so many working towards a common goal isn't it i'm glad i can again be the catalyst that brings humanity and the reef together it's a pity marasav doesn't see it that way her face is a perfect porcelain mask but look behind her eyes, and you can see the incandescent rage burning within. She's very upset with me. This will be our last talk until the day of the ritual, O oh Guardian Mine. Now that Marasov's coven is assembled, the only thing left to do is to keep Zivu Arath from ruining things while the ley lines fall into position. This may take some time. But I have waited millennia to be free. I can hold out for just a little bit longer. Farewell. For now. Hmm. I, will, I just, I don't trust her in the slightest. I don't trust any of them. I only really trust Crow. Small party. Most of them meet shit and die. Marasov tells you that the time is night for the exorcism of Savathun's well. Hitekians, the wayward ones you rescued from the ley lines, are ready to perform the ritual. It will strip her of her power, leaving her significantly weakened, she says, with pointed ambition tinging her ears. You get the sense that Marasov does not intend to let such an opportunity go to waste. Lastly, she tells you that Shiva Arath will not simply let her sister be separated from her world. The Queen of the Reef calls on your light to defend the ritual and see this through to the end. She says that Saint Fourteen is already en route to await Osiris' return.
Petrovan found Jolion on the ridge, as he'd expected. A lone figure, lying face down on the ridgeline, sighting a barely visible top on the far side of the ravine. You never really needed to spot it, did you? No, Jolion replied, squinting up at her. But I always like the company. You offered her a rangefinder. Care to join me? Petra settled down beside him and sighted the next target. Jolion pressed his side back to the supremacy's massive skirt. I heard he's back, he said. Then you heard wrong. Petra squinted through the rangefinder. You know how it is with Guardians. He goes by Crow now. Jolion snorted. Ironic. Only Ultron can make a mortality a, a demotion. Wind is 16 kilometers from, per hour from your nine, 4,700 meters out, Petra replied. Send it. Jolion let out a long, slow exhale. Then a deafening boom as the supremacy kicked. Petra didn't bother to check the target. It took a lot of abuse after he rest, she said, breaking the signs before it could fully settle. Never knew why. Gave him a bit of humility, if you can believe it. Jolion lifted his head, shifting his focus from the scope to Petra's inscrutable expression. He raised an eyebrow. I'd like to see that for myself. I know. Petra pressed her lips together in sympathy. That's why I'm here. Mara thinks that it's best if we limit his contact with others. Keeping in her pocket, huh? Aldra might have changed, but it sounds like Queen Mara is the same as ever. Petra's tones hardened. Be that as you may, you've got your orders. Stay away. It's fine, Jolion said with a smile. It did not reach his eyes. I've got news to Aldra and been dead. Probably best he stays that way. It is a really pretty spiral, I have to say. Spoiler alert, someone's going to die. Do you like that one? Oops. Um, and going to head back to the tower just in case. And then we're going to head off to the Ruling City and make a start on, um, what's it called? Choice in the Stars. Is that, like, it for the season? Your return honors me, Guardian. No way. Really, yes, nothing else, so, um, let's head out to the Dreaming City. Never 
it's in. Volume nests when carried in nearby lost sectors. Okay, do I have a um, challenge on doing this actually? It's kind of sure. I know what I'm looking for, so... surprise. Also because I'm going the wrong way, which uh, does not help. We need your help.
Abomination. Comes to Davis funky thing. Nice to see you. Me too. Where the hell am I going? idea of what I'm doing now. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty clear. No. Fuck off. Oh my god, stop bouncing backwards off the box. It's very unprofessional. I didn't want to teleport, but I'm going to. My legs are fast asleep. this uh, cave over here that I didn't see. Guys are very scary when you suddenly spawn them like that. Bye. 
right, I'll kind of Get out of here. I only had to put it in the head and I was really not feeling it all of a sudden. Even though I was drawing running around with the um the the, the little friend. Um, I was confused about instructions. I 
always have new thoughts. Up. I can usually be confused, as always. See where I need to go. I'm absolutely full sometimes. By sometimes, I mean often. They get extremely lost. I just open. Your work in aesthetic is so good. Fire thump. Uh, iron tree 
sink. I think I'm basically just going this way. Getting into fights. That would be just so sick if I could. According to an article I read today, um, Bungie are getting rid of Forsaken, which seems, I understand that it's like keeping. Reducing bloating again and stuff. But it's also a bit like. Come on. In my humble opinion. Especially this season. But I mean, if Mara and Crow are. Especially Crow are coming to stay. You know, if we're buddies with them again. Permanent sense, I guess, in the Witch Queen. Not having Forsaken feels really strange. Uh, what do I know there, huh? Cool. New step. Access the helm and select the Hollow Coronation. Okay. Hopefully I can sort of mute through these and I don't have to... I know they're a weekly quest, but hopefully the fact that I'm behind means I can sort of mute through them more so, perhaps. stowed the scepter is one of those places. The atlas skews you've collected serve as star charts of sorts, used to map and navigate ley lines back when they could be freely explored. Aldrin had been searching for Agar's scepter for some time when he made these. Another daring venture to win my affections against my better wishes. 
He often embedded travel logs into his skews. Here. Sister. I wonder when the spies you have following me will find these. Do you still walk the old paths we made? Mother's old tales come to mind. I've been adding to my favorite. The twin kestrels whose hearts beat as one. You'll have to tell me what you think when I return with the scepter. Mother Kestrel watched perfect daughter Riga as she plotted the infinite paths of the hollow, as if concocting a plan for each way it could grow. But with her son, Agar, Mother instead held him tight beneath her wing in the oak's hollow. She pointed starward and whispered warnings of dangerous storms and cosmic sojourners that carved chaos in the sky. The beautiful depth of the dark spots caught his eye. His imagination was arrested by them. Agar struggled against his mother's will, yearning to leap from the tallest branch and soar to see the storms for himself. But Mother Kestrel's talon caught him. She scolded him to never leave the canopy. She held him in crushing closeness and vowed not to show you the stars again. He grew to resent her protection. If it is still unclear, the twin Kestrels represent Aldrin and myself. Their mother is Osana Sav. Aldrin found Osana's prescriptions restrictive. I never considered her a mother myself, but her dreams of foresight interested me. We both saw calamity looming, Osana and I. In the distributary where the Awoken were born, we were eternal. Osana would hide there forever rather than face the enemy. When we left to form the Reef, many chose to hide with her. You're done here. I'll send for you when more skews reveal themselves. It's pretty cool. Like, I get why they're bad, but the idea of having one of these working arounds for myself, pretty good, you know? They look cool. Marasol's voice rings through the compass and echoes in your mind. The Caliburn Gatehouse is a barrier between the weapon you chase and everything else. It is a piece of the dreaming city, ripped from reality and suspended within a tangle of ley lines. It rests neither here nor in a sentence base. Once you've collected all of my late brother's misplaced out excuse, the gatehouse will lead you to the Dos Murray Vault. We must walk quickly to find them as they face to the dreaming city. I fear we are not the only ones searching. Marasol tells you that the collection of skews you found so far are only the first on your journey. As more skews face to the dreaming city, it's your will out to them.
seems to have to. It's trapped in hell. Just speak with her. Still no radio. Aldrin never stopped repeating the same stories of Moses. Whether they were what Sinus or his own, little ones loved him for it. He filled their heads with false hopes and fragile dreams. Mara shakes her head. Even as his demeanor darkened in his later days, I know it was the thread of the story that kept him upright and walking. Something fake for him to believe in. A star to chase. I suppose it doesn't matter anymore. Another set of skews has come to light garden. Collect them and let us see where their story leads. The more we find out about the two of them, the more I really do get the impression that, um, I don't know, just like, how manipulative um, Mara is in a way. I don't know if that, well obviously, I don't know, I don't know what I'm working, how I'm trying to word this. It seems, That whatever, however it shakes out the relationship between Aldrin and Mara is unhealthy. And, but it's, for me, it's things, the way that she's like, uh, another way to earn my favour without my permission. And it's like, have you considered why he was trying to earn your favour, perhaps? Maybe, uh, maybe there's something to look at there. Um, I don't know. I really wish that I could slash have played uh, Destiny 2, Destiny 1 rather, because I feel like there's a lot of context for the two of them that I miss from having not been able to play that that I would like to be able to rectify. Okay. Oops. Strand to my statue. Gazebo statue seems pretty self evident. Oops, that was... I hit the wrong combination of buttons there. I do apologise. Although, at least now I know that my, um... plan to have my AFK screen... over... My current video works. things and I just get like flashbacks to um, trying to get a bunch of those achievements done. Oh no, don't. Whoever's attacking me, don't worry about it. Just chill, okay? Yeah. 
Bones. Take a look. Right, uh, what was that? Garden waterfall for the embrace. Right. Fun fact, for some reason. God, I've forgotten how much I love that. Oh. Really is the best one. Anyway, for some reason, um, my brain is like. What if I just constantly mixed up. Um, River and case of the area. Specifically, the green my blood like a bit, which is an extremely good lyric. And, um, also, like, doesn't really, uh,
think of that. I just love being here. Just love so beautiful. Oh. Screen just had some um, weirdness. That's okay. So I do have to go all the way around to get that one, okay. Well that's alright then.
it is because I hate this guy so much. Just my best friend to me. My problem is that I look at those um My problem is that I look at those and I think I'm going Next set, and then that'll be us done for the day. Most nights, Riga and Agar sat beneath the stars to dream. Twin hearts sounding a duet of beats. Like ours, Mara. I still feel yours. Still distant. In this story, Agar fixated on the dark clouded pox that marred the night above the canopy. He pointed to the starry spaces between them and asked his sister to name them. Riga never spoke a word. She already knew all their names and didn't want to crush his spirit. How charitable. One night, Agar grew impatient of her silence and pointed to one of the dark spots as it roared with thunder. The storm is singing to us, said Agar. We should sing back to show it we are not afraid. Riga wove her voice with his, and the thunder resounded. She did not sing with him again after that night. Rare to see stars in the ascendant plane. I wish we were doing this together. Why hide the scepter if it weren't a test? I know you are awoken, cousin. But not of the Reef. This may not be known to you. When the Awoken people came into being after the Collapse, I was the first. As first, my chosen form defined what an Awoken could be. Thousands followed my example, willing themselves into existence within the Distributary. Some, like Aldrin, required help. His mind was like an unsteady form. 
No surprise he was unable to do it on his own. So I guided him, filled the gaps in his memory. I gave him a star to follow. He was bonded to me, and his devotion spiraled into pathetic recklessness. I wonder why. Even through death, he hasn't outgrown that dependency. I see it in him as he looks longingly to his ghost for answers. To you. I just, I don't know. It's, um. I don't know. It's frustrating that she's like, yeah, my brother who literally went insane after I died. And, um. Is absolutely devoted to me. Um, pathetic recklessness. Hmm. Okay. Back to the helm to hand this in. That'll be a stun for the day. Discord as per usual. Oh. Marisol's voice rings through the compass makers in your mind. His story is a tangled weave of truth and fiction. He speaks of a time in the distributory as though we were gallivanting children. Her voice fades for a moment, they still feel her presence. Perhaps he was. Perhaps that is where he should have stayed. Not that it matters now. I'll send few and more obscures phased into our plane than needed. Pick that up, but we're not going to um, head there just yet. Whoa. Well, I apologise if you can hear people outside slamming the door. Nonetheless, with that, we are going to end stream up here. I am going to say thank you very much for watching. It is very much appreciated. And I do hope that you enjoyed. I will be streaming um, Higurashi When They Cry, Kotohogushi, uh, this Saturday, um, where we'll be continuing to explore Han Yu's half rom-com, half horror, past life. Then on Sunday it will be near Replicant where we are going to be uh, finishing off the, the weapon stories and getting ending D. Next Tuesday will be Final Fantasy XIV where I will be um, probably doing more of the Boja story on Ashad and then maybe doing World It. I don't want to but I probably should. Um, and then next Thursday will be more Destiny 2 where we'll do whatever story content is out next week and if there's not any We'll work on the um, various quests that I already have. At some point, um, also, I'm not sure when exactly, probably next Wednesday, but maybe beforehand, um, maybe Friday or Monday, I'm going to be streaming some more of Jet The Last Shore um, and uh, hopefully continue off from where last night my computer crashed and was a real pain in the ass. 
um, but that will be announced on Discord probably the day of. So thank you very much for watching, it's very much appreciated. Do have a wonderful evening and be excellent to each other, and I shall see you guys on Saturday.